is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be going over the updated mdt vindication pick fed roster for you guys following the royal rumble if you guys have not watched the royal rumble then you better go watch it right now because there are a lot of spoilers already on the screen and i hope you guys have already seen the royal rumble i think you guys have so i hope you guys did enjoy the royal rumble and today we're going to go through the roster and cover you know what has sort of happened you know uh, a little bit before the rumble prior or after the Royal Rumble, what happened at the Royal Rumble, all that good stuff, going into Vindication episode number 13. Of course, we have three episodes of Vindication, three episodes of MDT Live, and then it will be time for Hell's Gate. I'm going to try my best to try and get all of those shows up to you guys as quickly as possible. But anyways, let's get into things. You guys already know the elite champion, Kenny Omega, starts off our show. He is the, you know, the biggest guy in the company. I'd say he's probably the biggest threat in the company in all of MDT. He is holding down the blue brand with his club member the Bullet Club and the Elite Champion is looking absolutely fantastic. Everybody knows he got eliminated from the Royal Rumble by Adam Cole, who he kicked out of Bullet Club on the go-home show going into the Royal Rumble. Kenny Omega was distracted at the Royal Rumble and Adam Cole took advantage of it. So there is our Elite Champion Kenny Omega, the main eventer, the big time, the big dog. Next up, guys, we have the MDT Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks. Everybody, get, everybody knows who the Young Bucks are. They're representing with those Tag Team Championships looking great. I'm sure that they're going to have to defend these titles at the next pay-per-view. I have it I have it written out, the match card, and these guys are going to definitely be on there. I know we didn't have any tag team championship matches at the MDT Royal Rumble, but that is going to change at Hell's Gate. we got to find some number one contenders for these guys, and it's going to be really cool. I cannot wait to see the Young Bucks defend these titles. And, you know, they were in efforts trying to help Kenny Omega win the Royal Rumble at the pay-per-view, and they definitely came up short in that effort, getting eliminated by Rated RKO. But Rated RKO is not on vindication, so who are, who is going to step up to these guys and and challenge them for their tag titles. We'll have to see. Next up, guys, we have the mid-card champions. We have the MDT Ironman champion Cody Rhodes and the MDT Revolutionary champion Marty Skrull. At the Royal Rumble, of course, Cody Rhodes did capture the Ironman championship from Rusev in a chairs match. Really solid effort there. He, uh, you know, Aiden English and Rusev were not enough for Cody as he did overcome both of those guys and win the MDT Ironman championship. Now, all of the Bullet Club hold all of the gold on the blue brand. Took a while to get there, but they have finally done done it. It's going to be weird to see it. You know, all of them walking around Vindication, all hanging out together. All the titles are wrapped up in the faction. It's going to be an interesting thing to see who can come up and knock these guys off their pedestal. Cody Rhodes looking great. He just won this thing at the Royal Rumble over Rusev, and Marty Skrull did capture the revolutionary title from our next guy we're going to talk about, Adam Cole, but the Bullet Club's holding all the gold, and it's going to be cool to see them uh, over there on Vindication holding it down with all of that championships. Next up, guys, we have one of the main event level guys on MD Vindication, that is Adam Cole, baby. And, of course, he did have a really good MDT Royal Rumble effort. You know, he actually, Adam Cole actually used his 250 grand from his Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase from the Vindication side of Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Since Kenny Omega didn't want to, you know, have a championship contract looming over his head at all times, he put, you know, a bunch of money in a briefcase. He put it on the line. Adam Cole won it, and he still had that money after being kicked out of Bullet Club, so he used a portion of that money to uh, buy himself an entry into the Royal Rumble, and he had a really good, solid effort. I think that he he looked fantastic at the Royal Rumble. I would love to know what you guys thought about Adam Cole's efforts in the Royal Rumble. He did eliminate the elite champion, Kenny Omega, so will that tie in? Are we going to get some elite championship view going forward with Adam Cole and Kenny Omega? Should be great to see over on Vindication. Next up, guys, we have a man that returned at number 30 at the Royal Rumble. It is Shinsuke Nakamura. He was, of course, out with a neck injury for a very long time. Vindication episode one, he got coup de grace on with a steel chair wrapped around his neck. It, he, it required surgery. He was out forever. Returns at the MD2 Royal Rumble at the number 30 spot, almost winning the thing, becoming the runner-up, and it's going to be really cool to see him back on the Blue Brand show. It's going to be cool to see him on Vindication and running around, seeing what feuds he's going to get into. Is he going to try and go after that Elite Championship? You know, that is the match that, uh, that, that you could say that Kenny Omega was part responsible for his injury. The coup de grace took him out. Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club or what held him down and beat his butt. So I'm sure he's going to be looking for revenge on the Bullet Club. So there's Shinsuke Nakamura. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have AJ Styles, who did not have the greatest Royal Rumble effort. You know, Kenny Omega jumped him, beat his butt. You know, they had their little backstage interference. You know, they were getting in each other's face, picking their Royal Rumble numbers. And Kenny Omega made AJ Styles pay. And then he, he was in the top four, in the final four, but he did not really have that much to show of himself. And he was eliminated, did not win 
the Rumble, and I'm sure he'll be tied up with Kenny Omega as well. Tension's just boiling all over the Vindication brand with many people as we go into Hell's Gate and the, uh, the Elite Champion, Kenny Omega. Next up, guys, we have the newest signee to MDT Vindication, and that is Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne did come in at number 17 in the MDT Royal Rumble with a great effort. He had a couple eliminations. He was stomping butt. He was eliminating kids. He hit that bitter end on Adam Cole, and he just looked great. So I'm excited to see where the bruiser weight goes on the blue, blue brand. Try saying that. The bruiser weight goes to the blue brand. Kind of kind of a tongue twisty there. But Pete Dunne should hold down the mid to upper card. I can't wait to see what feud he gets into first, and he will be most assuredly used right as he goes over to Vindication. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a really big portion of the roster right here, guys. We have Bray Wyatt. We have Luke Harper. We have Eric Rowan. We have that mystery assailant that is running around with the Wyatt Colt. We have Sheamus. We have Connor and Victor slash the Ascension. We have Big Cass. We have Tyson Kidd. You know, the, 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 the Wyatt Colt really doesn't do anything. You know, they're just sort of followers of Bray Wyatt. They're going to do his dirty work, I guess, whenever the time comes. But you have Bray Wyatt, who finally made his MDT debut at the Royal Rumble. Looked very good, very strong in his efforts. We still have yet to see Luke Harper and Rowan. Will they, will they be in contention for the Young Bucks Tag Team Championships? Where does the Wyatt Colt land? Who the hell is the mystery assailant running around? You know, he seems to be a big portion of the Wyatt Colt. So that is going to be a question moving forward on Vindication. And I'm just I'm just glad we got to see Bray Wyatt wrestle. Finally, he shows up at the number 20 spot out of nowhere. Had a great effort. Was eliminated by Kenny Omega. And there is another straw that is thrown into the Elite Championship situation. Kenny Omega just not having any friends besides the Bullet Club over on the Blue Brand. So that is your Wyatt Cult. Next up, guys, we have some mid-card talent. We got El Generico. We have Samoan Joseph. We have Drew McIntyre. We have Cesaro. And all four of these men did not go to the Royal Rumble. Three of them did. Samoa Joe, El Generico, Drew, uh, and Cesaro were in the Royal Rumble. I thought all of them did well. I think all of them had an elimination of sorts. I, I'm pretty sure Cesaro may have not had an elimination, but I know Joe and Generico had a couple eliminations. Drew McIntyre did not make his way to the Royal Rumble. He, he did not, you know, qualify. He didn't end up with one of those extra spots. And he was tied up in the Iron Man Championship situation. Who knows where he'll be after this. You know, maybe he'll he'll go around the mid card. Maybe he'll get a tag team, try to capture the tag team championships. Maybe he'll go after Marty Skrull and the Revolutionary Championship. Who knows at this point, but Joe was also wrapped up in the Iron Man title for a while. He is yet not in there, but he looked great at the Rumble, and I'm sure Kenny Omega was impressed with that, so we'll have to see where he goes. Generico had a few eliminations looking good. These three men that showed up at the Rumble were looking good, so the mid-card is looking strong on the blue brand. A few more or mid-carders, guys. We have Elias. We have The Miz. We have The Hurricane. And we have Jack Gallagher, who made his MDT debut, who is also on the blue brand. So Pete Dunne and Jack Gallagher are the newest members of the MDT Vindication roster. Jack Gallagher definitely did not look good at the Royal Rumble, guys. He got curb stomp. He got beat to hell with an umbrella. He got hit in the ball sack. He wasn't looking good at all, man. He got eliminated. I think he has the shortest time in the Royal Rumble in MDT history. So that is upsetting. The Miz and Hurricane, who really knows what they're doing nowadays? Are they going to be a tag team? Elias is still wrapped up in the Iron Man Championship situation. Is he going to be the first contender for Cody Rhodes? A lot of unanswered questions between this group of four, except for Jack Gallagher. We, we know he sucked at the Royal Rumble. Next up, guys, we have a few tag teams. We have three, actually. We have American Alpha, who have not really looked all that good. We have the Fashion Police. Don't worry about Fandango being shirtless. I'm actually in the process of fixing him up because he's way too jacked. So before he gets his stuff on TV, he's, he's going to look a lot different there. And we have the team of Rusev Day. And I think these guys are going to become a tag team, guys, because after Rusev has lost his Iron Man Championship, Kenny Omega has declared that he is not going to get his rematch. And um, I don't really know how that's going to come forward on Vindication, but this is three tag teams in the division with the Fashion Police, the American Alpha, and Rusev Day. You put these together with the Wyatt Colt, you put these together with the Miz and Hurricane, potentially, and you have a decent little tag team division for the Young Bucks to go up with. Nonetheless, we do have to find ourselves a tag team championship number one contender, and these three teams are definitely going to be in the running for that. Also, the Fashion Police are in the, the mystery solving business, and they are underway with their biggest investigation, trying to figure out who that mysterious goat masked man is on Vindication. So hopefully we find out that answer soon. But there are three more tag teams for Vindication. Next up, guys, we have sort of the lower tier card of the show. You got Ty Dillinger. You got 
Trash Corbin, you got Kurt Hawkins, and you have Gold Dust. Gold Dust was trying to qualify for the Royal Rumble. He actually lost his qualifier to AJ Styles. Ty Dillinger found himself in the Rumble. You can see his face all busted up still. He uh, he came out at number 29, and he had no idea about that little vignette that played before his music. He has no part to that. If you guys were wondering if he was a part of that, that is not the case at all. Trash Corbin tried to get Kurt Hawkins' number after he was defeated by Kurt Hawkins on Vindication to qualify for the Rumble. And Kurt Hawkins had his number taken by Seth Rollins after getting beat up by Baron Corbin. So I'm sure Kurt Hawkins is going to be like, what the hell, man? He's going to be looking for some answers on the next Vindication, guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I think that is pretty much it for the entire roster, guys. Let's go ahead and get them all in here. Let's go ahead and just stack them, stack them all up here. We got like a ton of guys. I mean, that took way longer than I expected it to. But, you know, the, the the Vindication roster runs pretty deep, guys. But there's there's your stuff. And we'll, we'll just put the champions back up here because, you know, that's that's pretty much what Vindication's all about is Bullet Club running around with all the championships, causing shenanigans. And, you know, that's that's pretty much what they're about. But I figured I would update you guys with the current pick fed situation. I think you guys enjoy, you know, when I go in depth with the pick fed and I talk about it from a creative standpoint and we talk about where we're going with the future and kind of story recap everything that's been happening on Vindication and MD. MDT Live. I thought about doing MDT Live's roster tomorrow. If you guys would be interested in that, I would love to know down in the comments section below. Also, we're building towards Hell's Gate, so Kenny Omega is going to defend the Elite Championship in the Elimination Chamber, I'm pretty sure. Or we're going to be looking for a number one contender. So, big things planned for Hell's Gate, guys. Also, uh, the tag team titles will be on the line. Who knows what mid-card titles are going to be on the line at this point. We'll have to watch Vindication to see, but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you guys want to see an MDT Live, roster update please let me know down in the comment section below subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you